Five Nights at Freddy's is a horror series of books, games, plushies, clothes, and party supplies? And later this year, we're gonna get a movie for this franchise. And I thought it was about time we had some Five Nights at Freddy's Lego sets. So today, I'm gonna make four sets, ranging from polybags to 18 plus sets, based on a variety of the different games. Everyone knows you can't have a good Lego set without a good minifigure lineup. But unfortunately, Lego doesn't make Five Nights at Freddy's sets, let alone minifigures. So instead of our usual Bricklink trip, I'm heading to Amazon to see what lies there. There are a bunch of options, but I ordered these knockoffs that look pretty accurate. The pack came with the main crew, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, as well as the Golden Freddy and the toy animatronics. Now that we have the figures, I can start on the first set. For the poly bag, I decided to go with a quick build, and I think that the small stage from FNAF 6 would be the best pick for this. It's small and has enough room for a minifigure. I used a bunch of brackets to get the black around the base to be just right, and the cheese slopes imitate a makeshift stage light of sort. I also love the way this came out. It really looks like the in-game counterpart. I made this mock-up of what it could look like as a real poly bag. And now that we have that done, it's time to move on. Up next is the battle pack. Every good theme has at least one. And I thought the perfect idea, it could be the five spirits against William Afton, just like in the Night 5 minigame from the third game. In it, you confront the purple guy himself until he hides in the spring bonnie suit, but I think I know a better way for the spirits to attack him. I made these custom crying child ghost figures for each of the five characters. Also, William Afton but he's just made of a bunch of purple minifig parts. And to make things just a little bit more interesting, I've added a slingshot to launch children, as one does. <laughs> one of the more obscure FNAF games would have to be FNAF AR which is like Pokemon Go, but with robots. To continue our path of innovation, I've decided to make the hotbar as a display set with the flashlight and battery icons, as well as a removable taser. The taser is used to stun the animatronics so they do not hug you. Yeah, let's go with that. Regardless, I would say the hardest thing for this one was to get the lightning bolt to be just right and in the correct spot. This set might be the best so far, a perfect addition to any dresser or desk, remind you of the dark deeds done by a man in the 1980s. Oh, did I mention this is a family-friendly set? For our final set, I've decided to recreate the location from the first game. With the help of some Bricklink orders and about 1,200 pieces, I was ready to get started. Wow, this is absolutely massive. It's about two feet by one foot, and is definitely the biggest mock I have ever built. I used the map from the game as a reference, and I've completed it with every room and an array of accessories. I even cut out posters to put on the wall to create the perfect atmosphere. The office and stage with the party room looks the best in my opinion. They really capture the right look and are super accurate to the game. The stage especially. I also got creative with Pirate's Cove and the kitchen, since we don't see much of them in the game. Pirate's Cove is complete with Foxy by a shipwreck and a treasure chest. And in the kitchen, I even had a chica bang pots and pans together. And what restaurant wouldn't be complete without a bathroom? I recreated the exact ones you would see in the pizzeria. In the broom closet, I've added a bunch of newspapers to mirror the many articles we see in-game. This looks super accurate and I am so happy with the way this came out. And as far as I know, this is the first complete adaptation of this location, and I couldn't have been happier with how it turned out. And like I said, there are so many more Five Nights at Freddy's games, and we got the movie coming out later this year. So if you guys want more Five Nights at Freddy's content, I'm here to deliver. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and subscribe.